Okay, so this is how my motor is at the minute. It's um, 3 by 5 a coil Panini motor, but it works just the same way as a single coil Panini motor. So, just use it for demonstration. Now, this is the circuit. You can't really see very well, but they here and here. And all of my transistors are neon bulbs. And you see they're not lighting at the minute because I have my charging battery hooked up. So that's my primary and this is my charging battery. So when these coils are pulsing, the radiant energy is going straight into this battery. But if this battery wasn't attached, then the, the radiant energy has to have somewhere to go, otherwise it's going to completely eat up all your transistors. It's going to completely fry them. So that's why we have the neon bulbs attached. And like I said, they shouldn't normally light. But what I'm going to do now very quickly is I'm going to detach my charging battery just to show you them lighting. So I'm going to turn off this light so you can see it a bit better. Now, so just for a second I'm going to disconnect it so you'll see. One, two, three. Whew. That's quite a lot. In fact, I'll try it with the light on just so you can see how bright they are. See, I don't like doing that for very long because that's a lot of radiant energy going through there and that's going to really chew things up. So anyway, you see that that's, um, the neon bulbs are protecting the circuit and there's a lot more voltage going through here than there should be because these are 12 volt batteries so only 12 volts is going into the system but a neon bulb takes uh, at least 90 volts to light in the first place, to light at all and you see how bright they're lighting, this is more like um, closer to 200 volts and it's lighting 5 neons so quite a lot of energy there so neon bulbs, don't forget those, we need them